Thousands of high schoolers across the region graduated this month. It's an exciting time. Headed down different paths, some going to college, some the workforce, others the military. At Rogers High School, one person is working extra hard to make sure students are prepared and ready to make that next step. Rogers High School's Nancy Pemberton is tonight's Everyday Hero. The end of high school is an exciting time. A time to look back on the past four years of growth and accomplishments. How am I really supposed to sum all of my high school experience? The end of high school means the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. And oftentimes, figuring out that next chapter is a huge challenge. I work everywhere with the kids, everything from college application to career choice and you know degree, major, and then how they're going to finance it. So, so financial aid, scholarships, um, jobs. At Rogers High School, Nancy Pemberton strives to make sure that all seniors get the chance to realize their future potential. But primarily, I, my job is to get them um, ready for college. Making the college application process as easy as possible is her goal. We kind of joke this year, I think you need a college degree to, in order to get into college. So yeah, the process is very difficult and and I run into roadblocks and but I'm you know one of the things that I have that I think is um, special for the kids is that I have a lot of community contacts mm -hmm. so if I don't know an answer to something or I'm having trouble maneuvering the system I can call personal p people at the colleges or, or financial aid offices or whatever and so I can find out answers for the students to help them. And the results of her efforts are easy to see. She has made it possible for me to go to college through graduate school without having to pay a dime. Rogers senior Carson Murray was just awarded the Gates Millennium Scholarship, a full ride scholarship. This year over 54,000 people applied and there's only a thousand given. That's less than two percent of people get it. And she sat me down and she's like here's what you need to do to get the scholarship and I believe you can do it. Nancy's faith in Carson made all the difference. I probably would have never had the faith in myself to be able to get a scholarship like that. Therefore, I would have never applied and I would have been scrubbing up financial aid. Student loans would have been stacking. So, I mean, she took me under her wing and she said, you're going to do this. Fast forward four years to when her previous students make the next big step, graduating college. And when they go to college, when they actually graduate, sometimes I, I hear that they graduate and I had some students come back this year. And so this one's from WSU and he wrote to me, so he just graduated from Washington State University and he said, Nancy, where do I begin? You were the reason I went to college and attended WSU. You changed my life and I will forever have tremendous love and respect for you. Thank you for helping me reach this milestone in my life. So, yeah, so that was really special that they come back. Nancy knows that investing in students is investing in the future. And I do what I do for the kids and, you know, it's everything is about the students and helping them. So sometimes when you get this back, it really touches your heart because I know that I plant seeds and you just don't know when they're going to grow and, and bloom. Going above and beyond for her students is just another part of this everyday hero's life. Well, I hope that I'm a hero to the students, but actually they're my heroes. I have learned more and gained more from them than, than I think I've given them. Even though I know I do, I have gained so much from them and I have grown as a person because of them, because they're my heroes. Well, congratulations, Nancy. And if you know someone extraordinary, please email me at nadinew at kxoi.com.